Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick swatch party video because I just felt like it. And I recently picked up this Viseart palette. This is their newest 12 pan palette called the Koi palette. And I am a pretty avid collector of the Viseart 12 pan palettes. I have the warm mattes, the neutral mattes, the editorial brights, and I used to have the dark mattes, but I actually ended up decluttering it on Poshmark because it was a palette that I was not using enough. But I saw this new palette, and it's an all shimmer palette, and I was so curious. Plus they came out with this new packaging for their 12 pan palettes, which I must say I do really enjoy. And these shimmers just looked so beautiful, so I thought it would be fun to swatch them for you guys in case you had been eyeing this palette too. I definitely know it is kind of a spendy palette. So I was humming and hawing about buying it and I believe they first launched this on Muse Beauty Pro and I didn't want to buy it because I don't like to buy things from places I can't return them to just because in case I don't end up liking it, it's an $80 palette, like I'm not trying to commit that kind of crime to my bank account. So here are the first three shades. This shade is so beautiful. It's like a unicorn pink purpley shift. Oh, it's so pretty. But in the pan, it just looks white. So that's a cool color. That's what I, you know, attracted my attention to this palette is it seemed like it had really beautiful, subtle, you know, things that made these shades stand out. So anyway, yeah. So I wasn't gonna buy this from Muse Beauty Pro because I didn't know much about their return policy and things like that. And so I decided to pass. And then I saw when I was buying the Hourglass Foundation, the liquid foundation that Beautylish was carrying this palette. And I know Beautylish, I love Beautylish, and they have a great return policy in case you're not happy with the product. So I was like, give it to me and I bought it. So here are the next three shades. These are so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, this chartreuse color. I've been talking about chartreuse for like the last five months, I feel like, because I'm so obsessed with chartreuse. It's like the perfect color for me because it's like a combination of green and gold, which are two of my favorite things. And then here is the last row. Oh my gosh. And oh, this beach color is so pretty. So there they are. They're subtle, um, but they're gorgeous. They were trying to explain, a lot of the YouTubers that got this in PR were trying to say something about how these weren't glittery. They were like some kind of particle that they blah, 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 blah. And it was like this fancy technology. To me, it does look like obviously some form of glitter. Um, it doesn't, you know, look like kid makeup glitter but there's definitely some sparkle here still a little bit more subtle than what i like but i just wanted to show you guys swatches these two shades do kind of look similar this purple and this one that i told you guys looked like it was white in the pan uh, but these are all really really gorgeous i've worn this palette one time on my eyes i did an eye look with the editorial brights and then i used this green shade on my lid um i liked it i didn't love it i'm definitely gonna keep playing with this palette and i will keep you guys posted definitely follow me on instagram for more of my thoughts on it and i will see you in my next video soon bye guys